Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. Um, in this video we are going to do a, a pretty much a comparison video uh, and show you the differences between three diagnostic tools we have here. Uh, we have the iCarSoft CR Pro Kit, we have the Autel MD808 Pro Kit and we have the Autel Maxicom MK808 Kit. Um, now first of all, before we get into the video, if you are maybe considering buying one of these tools and maybe consider buying from Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. We'll put the links to all of these kits in the description below this video. So if you, as I say, if you are considering buying one of these tools, um, we'll basically recommend what we think is the best given a, si a certain situation or a certain circumstance. Uh, but obviously everybody's circumstances and situations are different. So, you know, this tool might be good for one person, but this tool might be the best for a different person. Uh, so we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and at the end of the video, as I say, I'll give you my personal recommendation based on my personal circumstance, not as a business, not as trying to sell these tools, but simply my own personal experience and my own personal home life situation. Um, so as I say, all tools are in the description below the video. So we have three tools here. You may see that all three of the screens are actually turned on and you may be wondering how that's actually possible. Well, only this tool, the iCarSoft CR Pro, is actually plugged into the diagnostic board via this cable here. Under normal circumstances, this case, this kit here would also need to be plugged in uh, via the diagnostic port. But what we're doing is we are piggy banking or piggy backing, should I say, uh, a data a connection or battery from this tool here. This tool runs off a standalone battery. So this has a battery installed into it so you can turn this on whether it's installed into the car or not. And we're just running a USB cable to plug this in as well. So it's a handy way to have all three tools uh, plugged in at the same time uh, so we can show you through the screens. Um, but under normal circumstances, the MD808 Pro and the Maxicom MK808 kit would need to be plugged in with this cable here. Now, it is worth me mentioning that this MK808 kit, there is a, a BT version, it's called a Bluetooth version, where you can diagnose the vehicle without a, a solid connection like this but that kit generally costs about 100 pounds more but you know i can put the link to that in the description below as well just in case so um, with regards to that i may as well cover that obviously uh, all three of these tools do require a wired connection there are obviously bluetooth kits out there that will allow you to sort of maybe walk around the workshop and diagnose at the same time you would need the bluetooth version of this kit to do that all three of these kits do require a cable to actually um, hook up to the diagnostic port and when it comes to diagnostics actually um, maybe resetting a warning light and, and covering cars then all three of these tools are really good and i'm going to show you this tool here this is what we have plugged in and as you can see we have an airbag light showing on the dashboard of this car so i'm just going to use this tool here to actually go through quickly and reset that warning light just as an example of how it works and all three of these tools will do exactly the same thing when it comes to this so we're just going to select our vehicle first of all we need to find we're actually in a porsche cayenne right now so it's porsche uh, we need to select our vehicle this is just a real quick example of how the tool works to reset fault codes and warning lights and we'll get into some of the special functions as well pretty soon. So we've got one fault code there, that's the fault code and clear fault memory. Just keep one eye on the airbag light you see on the dashboard. Well that's gone, disappeared. Erase operation done. So that's an example of what all of these tools are capable of doing. I just wanted to, I set that airbag light up to be honest with you. We just unclipped a connection and put it back together just so you could see the tool actually uh, doing what they are designed to do. Okay, now, what else do we need to talk about? Well, there's lots of things. So, uh, coverage wise, vehicle coverage, um, good vehicle coverage, good vehicle coverage, fantastic vehicle coverage. Um, these, if we look at the, um, let's have a look at, say, scan function on this let's have a look at actually what we'll do is I'm gonna go to the setup because I'm just gonna get rid of that annoying beep all right so we'll go to scan and these two kits are generally pretty much the same so the Asian vehicles we've got Acura, DU, Honda, Hyundai, Infiniti, Isuzu, Kia, Lexus 
Suzuki, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nasda, uh, Nissan, Sion, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. You know, these the manufacturers on there will be the same as here. We've got European, I'll just I'll not read them out, I'll just sort of show you them. And go through the list. And then the American market as well. So if we have a quick look at this one, I'm just gonna scroll down. So that is generally class as good coverage. Now the reason this is excellent coverage is this because this covers manufacturers that you've probably never even heard of before. And to be honest with you, most of them are in the the Asian market and the Chinese market. Look at all of these. Tell me if you've heard of any of these. Cherry, BYD, Brilliance, BIAC or BAC, DFSK, DFFG, Geely, M Grand, Photon, Great Wall. And that's it. Asian. Mahindra, Tata, Proton, Peroda, additional Sangyong, as well as the you know the the general Kia and Hyundai's. Uh, obviously, all of the European manufacturers. Notice it does do Lamborghini as well. It does Maserati. It also does Bentley, Bugatti, Maybach. So there's some good coverage there. And USA, Chrysler, George, Dodge, Jeep, Ford, and General Motors. So that's with regards to the vehicle coverage. I would say good, good, excellent. So you can already see that this would be aimed at, you know, maybe a, a workshop or a garage that has a lot of different vehicles coming through um, the, the, the door, depending on where you're based in the world. You know, it's gonna cover pretty much everything. Um, when it comes to updating these tools, this um, these two tools need to be plugged into a PC or a laptop. You need to install software onto your PC or laptop and update the tool via that way. As you can see, we've got update. Update by USB, which would generally be plugged into the, uh, the PC or laptop. Let's We'll just plug that out because it was obviously looking for a connection that wasn't there. This one is the same. This one here, well, the beauty of this one is that it will update just by one click. You do need a Wi-Fi connection, so it will list here all of the relevant uh, updates which are available. You can select the ones you want or you can just click on to um, update all. Now, when it comes to special functions, this is where this kit comes into its own. Let's have a look at the iCarsoft CR Pro special functions. So we'll go to the service menu and we've got oil reset, electronic parking brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, diesel particulate filter, ABS brake bleeding and injector coating. Let's take a look at the service option on this. Oil reset, electronic parking brake, steering angle sensor, DPF, battery registration, throttle uh, reset and that's it. So actually the service uh, functions or the, the special functions are better on this tool than they are on this tool. Um, but when it comes to this tool we click on service again and we've got a lot more options. We've got oil reset, electronic parking brake, TPMS, uh, tire pressure, new battery, brake bleeding, DPF, immobilizer, injector coating, Steering angle sensor collaboration, suspension collaboration, throttle control, windows, doors and roofs, seats, odometer. You can actually do mileage correction on a very few, I will say very few, limited vehicles. I wouldn't buy this tool for mileage correction. Uh, if you do want a mileage correction tool, by the way, I'll put a link to one in the description below, which is very, very good. Uh, lane change and a lot more, which obviously this tool is more suitable, as I say, for You've got a, you know, you've got a garage or a workshop, and you've got cars coming in, and you don't, you don't know what you're going to get on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, this will definitely cover you. Um, <clears throat> the support for these tools. If you have a problem with any of these tools, you need to contact your seller. So the person you bought it off, you need to contact those guys, and you need to. They basically need to take it up with the manufacturer. So your seller will go to iCarsoft. Your seller will go to Autel. For this tool. You just need to go to support and you need a valid um, Wi-Fi connection again and it's just a case of going through setting up your complaint or your information that you want to send through to them it'll give you like a service ticket things like that so if you have a problem it's not doing as it should then 
that's what you need to do. So that is a really, really good way of getting help and support. Obviously, this is a tablet as well. This is a tablet, so you can go online. You know, you can go and browse the internet with it. You could download, it's an Android operating system, so you can download anything in the Android store. Uh, onto this tool so you know you could use it as a diagnostic tool through the day and your kids going to be using it for games at night um, with regards to this this is just a standalone tool and so is this so these are purely only for um, diagnostics you can't use them for anything else with regards to printing these two can't print this can print this is very good function let me show you um, if we go to diagnostics I just want to get a previous fault code that we've sort it out uh, ABS sensor in this car in fact so if we click on that we click on view PDF what it does is it converts it to a PDF uh, you can add notes here and the notes are carried through into this kind of diagnostic report so this is what will this is what you give to the customer and it's telling me the fault here you can also put your own special notes in as and where you want to and then from this bit you can just go onto that just print it if you want and then it sends it through to the printer and uh, to give out to the customer so screen size obviously you can see the screen sizes that's really big that's really good these two are smaller but they are adequate adequate for the job languages they both support multi languages um, when it comes to updates free updates for life free updates for life free updates for the first year after that you do need to pay for the updates if you want to continue updating it after the first year. It'll still work after the first year. It'll still work even if you don't do the updates, but if you want the, the very latest software at all times, then you do need to continue paying. I'm not entirely sure about the current price of the updates. I will get those prices and I'll put them in the description below. Um, but, you know, pay for updates, free and free for life. Now, with regards to prices, that's one of the, the big factors in actually um, choosing one of these tools. Right now, Diagnostic World, this kit here is £259. It's a gen all genuine tools, genuine tools, genuine seller support. There are fakes on eBay, there are fakes on Inst uh, not Instagram, um, Amazon. Now, unfortunately, those guys are just in it for a quick book. They will not give you any help or support. Um, Buying from Diagnostic Will, as I say, genuine tools, you get you get full support for these tools. Um, so 259, sorry, I got a bit confused there. 259 uh, price-wise, and for the in dollars, that's about $325. Uh, UK pounds for this one, it's 349, which is about $440. And this one is uh, two, sorry, 389 pounds which is about $490. So that's the most expensive, then this one, then this one. Now when it comes to these two kits, you may be a little bit confused with that because this tool actually does more, covers the same amount of vehicles, more special functions than this kit, and this is a much better price. So uh, you do your own homework on that, which tool you think is best, but if it was down to me to choose one of these tools, I would choose this one simply because of the price. You know, it's a, it's about a hundred pounds or so cheaper so or 90 pounds cheaper so I'd go for that one um, this is still a good tool the reason all tell tools are generally a bit more expensive is because yes they have got good software in them they have got a, a good name for themselves these are I would say all tell are definitely the market leader when it comes to diagnostics it's just they really focus more on multi vehicle and garage workshop mechanic type equipment the iCar soft range do um, they do a multi-vehicle kit, but they also do individual kits. So again, you'll find more of those at Diagnostic World. Um, so with regards to, well, which one would I choose? Which one would I personally go for, given my circumstance? Well, you have to know what my personal circumstance is to get an idea of whether yours might be the same. I'm a car enthusiast. I have a few cars, um, mainly Porsche cars. So... If I was to want to look after my fleet of cars, you know, my, my three or four Porsches, I would always go for this one here. Free updates for life. It's got a, it's a best value tool. It does have some service options, like we can see here, but diagnostics wise, it covers a lot of the vehicles that I own. Free updates for life. And you don't need to say pay a single penny once you've bought the tool. 
you could say the same about this tool, but it costs more. So why would I why would I pay more for this to do the exact same thing as this when this costs less? All right. So that's my search. That's my situation. So that's why I would personally go for the iCars of CR Pro. So if your situation is the same as myself, whereby you know you have a few cars, you're an enthusiast, or you even even so far as you know, you want to just look after the cars in your family, or you want to look after your friends' cars as well, or maybe even a car club, something like that. I don't see any reason with you know, not getting a kit like this, or this, in fact. If, however, you run a, a, a garage or a workshop where you just don't know what kind of car you're going to get in, and you're not going to know what kind of service or function you're actually going to need to carry out on that car, I would say this kit is the best thing to go for. Um, I haven't even touched the surface about what, what this tool will do in fact, but it covers so many vehicles, so many systems and functions. I mean, let me just show you this for example. I'm going to go into the vehicle, I'm sorry if I'm banging on here, but I'm just going to go into the vehicle, ah, oh, I can't, or maybe I can, maybe it'll still allow me to load things up. Manual selection, Cayenne this one here so the control unit as an example of the control unit so the systems that it will allow me to diagnose hope you can pick those up but you know you've got engine transmission PSM that's a ABS airbags instrument clusters park on brake TPS you know, you've got lots of different systems and this is the same for most vehicles some cars will have smaller lists some cars will have much bigger lists uh, but that's just an example so that's why I think this is best in a garage um, workshop environment if you're just looking after your own few cars or families or friends cars um, or you just you want a future proof, proof of tool so you've got a maybe you've got a Mercedes or a BMW now and you might get something different in future but again this tool is the one I'd go for so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end the video there um, unless there's anything else that I haven't covered I don't think there is um, yeah that's about it that is about it so as I say if you are interested in picking up one of these tools uh, I hope this video has helped you and uh, maybe you could help us out and you know go for one of these tools at Diagnostic World it's www.diagnostic-world.com I will put a link to all of these kits in the description below this video I'll also put that link to the uh, the mileage correction tool that I was talking about the mileage correction tool looks a bit like this and it works via the OBD2 port but that's for another video in fact I've got videos on that on this channel here so thanks for watching I'm sorry if it's been quite long it's probably been longer than you would have hoped for uh, but I hope I've, I've covered everything if not um, then what I would say is just email inquiries at diagnostic-world.com and they will give you good advice on the tool itself okay or on the tools thanks for watching i'll see you soon